Assalamu alaikum, dear brothers and sisters. This sin will directly affect your face. Surely you wonder it if the sins that we commit affect the face. Do our faces change when we commit sins? The answer is definitely yes. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, sins affect our faces. They get uglier. We were able to distinguish and conduct such an experiment. Today, we'll talk about which sins mainly affect the face, the beauty of a person, and we'll also conduct a small experiment with you, the result of which you will see for yourself that is right and sins really affect a person. Therefore, dear brothers and sisters, be sure to watch this video to the end to understand us correctly and we will begin. Everything is simple. I'm sure there are many disagreements, but it's true. If you look at people who have reached the age of 25 to 30, you can see that there is a shadow of their face. There is a darkness on their faces. And if you look at the young people, they are more beautiful and they have light on their face. There is a little darkness, but more light. This is the result of them not accumulating a lot of wrong actions because they are still young. And if you look at the kids, it's amazing. Why are people so attracted to the faces of young children? Because they are see innocence. They are pure. They did not commit sins. They are completely clean. People are attracted by purity and that's why everyone loves children. The messenger of Allah, peace and blessing of Allah be upon him said, every person is born in his natural state, a Muslim, and only then his parents make him a Jew, a Christian or a fire worshipper. Abu Huraira reported Allah's Messenger as saying, The mother of every person gives him a birth according to his true nature. It is subsequently his parents who make him a Jew or a Christian or a Magian. Had his parents been a Muslim, he would have also remained a Muslim. Every person to whom his mother gives birth has two aspects of his life. When his mother gives a birth, Satan strikes him, but it was not the case with Mary and her son, Jesus Christ. This reliable confirms that every child is born a Muslim, and this means he is pure and without sin. And then it can change. Accordingly, his face will change. This was the first experiment that you can see by looking at each other. Let's now talk about the sins that cause a darkening in people's face, and especially in our time, they are committed openly. The first is adultery zina. This sin is committed openly, and people are even not ashamed to talk about it openly. Zina, fornication, does not refer only to penetration. Rather, there is the zina of the hand, which is touching that which is forbidden and the zina of the eyes, which is looking at that which is forbidden. Even though zina that is committed with the private parts is the zina which is punishable with the prescribed punishment. Abu Huraira narrated that the Prophet peace and blessing of Allah be upon him said, Allah has decreed for every son of Adam his share of zina, which he will inevitable commit. The zina of the eyes is looking, the zina of the tongue is speaking. One may wish and desire, and the private parts confirm that or deny it. Tell the believing men to lower their gaze from looking at forbidden things and protect their private parts. That is pure for them. The second is slander. Especially in our information world, everything spreads very quickly. The most serious slanders are slander against the prophet peace be upon him. Slander against a chaste woman We have a unique video about this type of sin. The third sin is sihar, magic. Especially observed in family life, people who are engaged in spoiling sihar and magic will not smell the smell of paradise. Narrated Abu Huraira, the Prophet wasallam said, with the seven great destructive sins, the people inquire, what are they? He said, to join others in worship along with Allah, to kill the life which Allah has forbidden except for a just cause, according to Islamic law, to eat up riba, to eat up an orphan's wells, to give back to the enemy and feeling from the battlefield at the time of fighting, and to accuse chaste women. The fourth sin is riba. 
living on interests. Beware of this sin. The fifth sin is not to obey your parents, to be disobedient to them. The sixth sin is to drink intoxicating drinks. The seventh is not to strive for knowledge, remaining ignorant. The eighth sin is not to pay zakat. The nine sins to love worldly pleasures excessively. The tenth sin is to live prayer. Thus were the most common sins that are being committed now. Beware of this because Allah says in the Quran they are those who do not invoke any other good besides Allah, nor take human life made scared by Allah except with a legal right, nor commit fornication. And whoever does any of this will face the penalty. Their punishment will be multiplied on the day of judgment, and they will remain in it forever in disgrace. As for those who repent, believe, and do good deeds, they are the ones whose evil deeds Allah will change into good deeds. For Allah is all-forgiving, most merciful. The sins directly affect your face. You can also conduct experiments and verify this. The first experiment that we gave earlier is to observe people of different ages. The second experiment is to compare photos of our scientists, our avliya with other people. If you observe them carefully, there is a nur, light in their faces. They shine. Allahu Akbar. A good example is the Prophet Muhammad himself. Peace and blessing of Allah be upon him. He was the most beautiful person among all the people who have lived or will live. The Prophet's companion, peace and blessing be upon him, Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, he noted, I have not seen anything more beautiful than the Messenger of Allah. Peace and blessing be upon him. It seemed that his face was the sun when he smiled, the walls lit up. The third experiment is to observe a clean pond. The water in this pond is transparent, so you can easily look in and see the bottom. But if you stir up the bottom, you stir up all this dirt. Such is the nature of the soul that if you let your nafs get stirred up, it will eventually start up the purity in you. Because we are made of clay, and that's our nature. But we are also made of spirit. So the one who dominates is the one who manifests himself. In conclusion, I would like to say that don't let your nafs dominate you. Stick around you can. Write in the comments on what topic we should make a video so that you can benefit from our channel. And be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel and share the video. Because the Prophet himself, peace and blessing of Allah be upon him said, He who has pointed out a good thing received the same reward as he who has done it.